Do you know what my 18 year old brother said? What? Hello everybody, my name is The Cubic Nerd. So everybody thinks that a 2x2 two two is the easiest, or should I say easiest, event of all the 18 other events in the WCA, but that is not correct because I'll tell you a story right now. So when this 2x2 two two came, like like ages ago, maybe like six months ago, I, my brother said actually, my brother, he said that the 2x2s two are easy, what do you need to do with them, four corners, that's it. So then we gave the 2 by 2 to him when we scrambled it because I never knew how to solve it. And like he, all day, he just, he just couldn't solve it. So that's why I shouldn't underestimate the power of a 2 by 2 But after he left the cube to me, I looked up a tutorial. And to be honest, the tutorial was, it was too slow. You, like you had to do R, D, stuff like that. So it wasn't really that good of a tutorial. It was a beginner's method, and I didn't like it. So I improved it by making my own method. So the beginner's method that I learned insisted of making the first layer and then trying to match up two corners and then flipping the last two. But you had to do this uh, RUR prime U prime algorithm, like RUR prime U prime. I'm doing it quick because my fingers know the alg or know the move notations. But I used to do it like this, and then. I would always mess up on it. So I didn't really like that method. And how I improved the beginner's method was I created this method called the OQ method, which is basically making F2Ls on a 2x2. Two two. If you don't know what an F2L is, it's the first two layers on a 3x3. Three three. So you make these edge corner pairs on a 3x3, three three, but on a 2x2 two two, you don't have an edge, so you just make corner pairs. And this is how you do it. So you first make one side, that's all you have to do is make one side, like not one side, just one layer so that all the colors are matching. And then now you have to match these up. So you only you can only have one corner matching, maybe you'll have two. And then you have to match up these other corners. So first you have to have this, maybe you have no corners flipped, maybe you won't have this corner facing up towards you, or maybe you will. So if you do, you have to make the second one be flipped. So how to do that is if um, you have to bring it up to the color so it matches. So let's say this one's blue. It has to match with blue. This one's red. This one has to match with red. And this one's green and this one has to match with green. So to make an F2L on the right side, you have to perform this algorithm. It's R, U, R prime, U prime. So it's the same algorithm as the one in the beginner's method. Except, look, you already have your F2L then you have you can't just put it in because it will destroy it you have to do u2 well that was not u2 because i already did another u and then just insert it there but now you're you're seeing that you broke this one up the one that you had earlier so you had to repeat that same algorithm the rur prime u prime one and then just put it in and now you have these two f2ls here and now you have to flip these two corners, but we won't be doing that old retro flipping uh, corner flipping algorithm. We're going to be doing the same thing, except now we have it on the left side. So if you have it on the left side, do L prime, U, L, U prime. And then just keep on doing that same algorithm until you have your pair and you can easily insert it. But now see, you have your other two flipped. So first they were flipped towards you and now they're flipping out this way. So they're both maybe um, maybe they're all facing up. You may have that situation and you have to wait until the next step or you're on this case where these are facing like this. They're facing out opposite directions. So you can either choose to do this one or this one. It doesn't really matter. So you can start off with the right one or the left one. I'm just going to start with the right one and it makes your top layer then you might have, you just have a T-perm. So a T-perm is a PLL algorithm or a permutation of the last layer when you have these two corners solved, but these need to be switched. And on a 3 by 3 it's different because you have to switch these two edges and then these two corners. But on a 2 by 2 you just have to switch these two corners. So to switch these two corners around, you have to do R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R two, 
u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime. And there, that's the t perm. And you may have a situation like this. So this is a really rare situation, it's called an n perm. But you can just do one t perm that will make the two corners matching and then these two need to be switched like this. Or if you don't want to do that same algorithm, you can do r u r prime, no wait. No, it's r u r prime u r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r2 u prime r prime u2 r u prime r prime so that was the n perm and the n perm is actually 21 moves so that will be hard to memorize that almost wow that's um wow okay i'm i'm in lost of words that was a lot of moves so that was the end of the oku method and you can support this video by liking subscribing turning on notifications and leaving random questions in the comments that you want to ask me i will answer them cubing nerd out